everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really rather chunky mini album. And this is using 6x6 card envelopes. I have so many of them. Um, they weren't all getting used because I make a lot of my envelopes or, you know, I make box envelopes. So I just, I just found myself having so many. I thought there's got to be a way to use these. So I have come up with, I think, quite a nice fun way to make the envelopes as your pockets. And created this really cool album so as you can see this is Malaysia there's no photos in it yet because now I've made it I can go and order them it's on these two rather large ring binders so I will or binder rings even and then obviously they're probably in the way a little bit they're decorative more than anything I'll probably push them around a bit more but as you open it up you have all these pages so I'm going to show you how to make one page and then you can make as many as you want but on each page you have two of these mats or photo mats here to put four by four photos on so you can have four photos there and then you've got a little tuck spot to pop them in and then on the top of the page you have this photo mat here and then because this is made up of two envelopes you have the first envelope has this mat and layer and then the other envelope at the back has this mat and I say mat in there that um, picture mat and then you also have this area here and you could do another top spot on the back of this one but each page here will hold 11 photos and I have eight of them and then if you did do those and these I roughly worked out you could fit about 100 photos but you could easily do more as well if you wanted to so it's a really lovely size it's just over six by six Oh no, seven by seven, this one. Just a, roughly about seven by seven. It's a bit, again, you can use any envelopes, you can use, you know, uh, as many pages. It really is something you can adapt, you know, however you want. I've gone and protected all the corners there. Um, I love all the hardware. Like I said, I've got my little charm there. I've got feathers, little flowers. I've tried to really kind of bring the feel of Malaysia onto that front page. And it's helped because I've used the Tropical Bliss this is the Paper Addicts and it's gone now. I, all I have left are these scraps, that's it. So you're gonna see that all getting used now in the video, but I will link this below. And I did use a little bit of Botan Botanical Garden, I think it was, it was an old first edition one. Again, I'll link that as well. But yeah, I love this and I hope you do too. And let me show you how to make it. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to break everything down for what you need for every page. So first of all, I'm just going to show you one page and the quantity that you need to make that page. Then you can decide how many pages you want and then you can decide how many of those sizes I give you, you will need. I will list in my blog all of the sizes and quantities of what I used for this album but I'm gonna do the tutorial just showing you one page and you can just work from that. So as I said at the beginning, it's using six by six envelopes, but it's very easy to adapt and change it to any size envelope. So here are my two six by six envelopes. Well, I say six by six, they are just over, that one's six and one eighth. So it's, yeah, it's about six and one eighth by six and one eighth, but that's what I'm using. They're, they're you know, packaged as being six by six envelopes. Very straightforward, what you want to do is open both of them up and you're just going to feed one inside. Now it's up to you if you want to stick some glue on the back of that one. So what I can do here is just add, if I grab that one because that one's nearly run out, I just put a little bead just there. I'm not, you know, I'm not too worried about anything else because it won't catch. So, and just stick that inside and you just want to make sure they just, the joins marry up here like so, you can see there, and they just meet. And then if you flip it over, you've got this one just hanging around. Fold it back on itself, and it will have that gum from where you would, you know, make it wet to stick it if you were sealing a card. Just add some glue all over that triangle piece and stick it down, okay? So really nice and easy. And then fold the whole thing back over again. So you've got a pocket on this side here and then a pocket on the front here. And then that is gonna form, so the open side here is gonna be the inside, the left-hand side where the binder rings will be. This is the outer side where we'll have those two pockets that I showed you at the beginning. So what you wanna do is open it back up so you've got the two open parts of the envelope facing away, so underneath. And then just with some tape here, I'm gonna run this is half inch, okay? So 
I wouldn't go any bigger than that because the mats that go inside I've made to sit with this half inch tape so if you were to put say like a thicker one inch then the mat probably wouldn't fit and you'd have to change the sizes for that as well so I'm just going to cut there and then you want to run another strip along the open side okay so I'll just show you again you're only doing it on one so we're going to turn it over so there again you've got your open side and your open side and that's on the left hand side and then running along the bottom here and up here I've added my tape so now if I take the backing off and then just seal that up okay I now have a pocket at the top a pocket here and a pocket here okay and it's going to have the sealed end so I've sealed it there and there, like I said, the two open sides and the pocket at the top. That's how you want it to be. So you want this sealed side along the bottom and the side here on the left. Okay, openings here on the right and that one on the top. Then it's down to decorating. So you need to do that as many times as you want, you know, however many pages that you want. So, okay, so like I said, I've done eight pages, so you would need to, you know, do that seven more times. So now our mats and layers. So I have these pieces here so I've got this one and it's going to have that strip there and then on the other side it will have this one and that strip there now when you stick these down because obviously what we don't want to do is add glue all on this and stick it down because you'll end up sealing up your pocket so all I've done is just get some glue and just roughly stick it just cover the area of this here okay so I haven't put any glue on this piece you've got to keep that open because that's your pocket so then I can just stick this down okay and now I've got the pocket like that okay so you don't see that triangle anymore now if you want to keep that as a feature then you would have to cut your pattern paper accordingly but I just wanted it to be covered all I'm using the envelopes for is to quickly have pockets it's, it's as simple as that I've got so many of them like I said and yeah they're just never getting used because I make a lot of them for my kind of you know custom cards or more dimensional cards so and then these here and I will give the measurements to these okay so for each pocket you will want two pieces that are five and a quarter by five and seven eighths and that's pattern paper for your outer mats your main mats so you want to make sure that you have your pocket on the right and your strip on the left on that sealed side so when I flip it over it's easiest to do it that way keep your pocket on your right hand side and the strip on the left there so like I said that's going to go there and that one's going to go over there so I just want to add my glue same way again just roughly covering that area where the pattern paper will go and this Kalal glue is really good because it obviously dries nice and um, stiff so it does strengthen this album even more so because it's got so many layers to it anyway by having this this glue as well it just it does make it a really strong piece and then these strips here are half an inch by five and seven eighths so the same height you could have them a bit thicker if you want but I just like that border the, the white so again just stick that one down okay so that is now my covered pocket so you want to make sure that you have it although you want to keep this on the left hand side you want to make sure that you have that pocket at the top Otherwise, if you go to put your hole punches and your pocket's at the bottom, your mat's going to fall out. So that pocket needs to be at the top. These two openings, again, on that right-hand side and this on the left. And that is one page. So now it's up to you if you want to add the extra little tuck spot that I've done on the front. If you do, you want a square. Okay, so this is... This was a three by three square and then I just cut it on the diagonal to create this and then you can use that for your other pages. Now I have only done it on the front of every page but you can do it on the back as well if you want but I, at the minute I'm going to keep that plain because I may just want to do one large photo or I may add another pocket at a later date and add more mats in there. So for this one here and then this pattern piece was from a, a two and three quarter 
by two and three quarters square. Again, cut it on the diagonal and then that will sit nicely over the top with a slight little frame around it. So I'm gonna stick these two down. For the little tuck spot, I'm just using a very, very thin red tape because you don't want to add too much adhesive because you want there to be room for the smaller mats to actually tuck into this area. So if you add you know, too thick a tape or a wet glue, it might end up spreading more into this area and you won't really have much of a, a tuck spot. So this thin one quarter inch tape's good. So now I'm just popping that right down. Did I have it on the right side? No, it was meant to be on that one to complement that. Oh well. Never mind, this is the last page, so and you're not really going to see this paper once the mats are over it. Okay, so that's my little tuck spot. Then for my little smaller mats to go in this one here, you want two pieces of four and a half by four and a half, and then you want four pieces of pattern paper. Mine are all different, and these are four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then the idea is, is that you can have a four by four photo on all of these, so you can get four photos on those. So each one will stick here and here, and then they're all popping that little tuck spot. So again, I'm just going to get those stuck down. Okay, so there are my two mats now ready for photos and they just sit nicely inside, like so. Okay, now bearing in mind all of that that I just showed you was meant to go against this, so the colours were all in with that one, but it's just typical. The one I go to film, I do the wrong way, but um, yeah, it's just, it clashes a little bit, but it does all still work because it's all from the same, well, some of it's from the same pack. Anyway, so that's that piece done, and then I have your mats now for the top pocket okay so your mat for this one here I'm only having one mat but you may want to do more than you know the one so this is a piece that is five and one eighth of an inch by five and three quarters and then I've got these pattern papers to go on each side which is four and seven eighths of an inch by five and a half so I've got one going there and one going on the back there but before I put those on I have these which I've just punched from my one inch circle punch and oh that's got some double sided I obviously cut that from something else which is even better so and basically I'm just sticking half of it over like that that had some double sided tape on it obviously from another project and then I'm just going to add some glue on the other side and just stick that over. Now if you wanted to, you could keep it just like that and have them plain and then your photos go straight onto this. But then I stuck my pattern paper over the top. All right, so I'm gonna stick those all down. Okay, so now that is all ready to go in the top there. It should poke out like that. Then for your pockets, so you will need all the pattern paper. So you want two pieces because you've got two pockets. So you've got that front pocket and then you've got the pocket on that one as well. So you want two pieces that are five and a quarter by five and three quarters. And then you'll need four pieces of pattern paper. So get rid of that one. So I've got mine here. So four pieces that are five by five and a half. And they are gonna go on each side like this one on each one and then the other two on that one and again before I do that I've got these again but this time you want to put them on the side because these mats are going to go in like this so I want these here so it helps me to pull them out so with that one you put them on the top but on these ones you're going to put them on the right hand side so again I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and then just Pop it down on my grid here and you just want to get it as centred as possible. You could always obviously move it like so and then I'll just pop another bit of glue there. So, so I'm going to do that again on that one and then I'm also going to stick down all of my layers. Okay so that one can go in the front pocket and then this one in the back pocket. 
Again, you can double up on them if you want to, but I like them with just the one. Okay, so that's one pocket. So nice and easy to do. You know, this doesn't really take too long to do. It, the longest part is cutting all of your pieces. Putting it all together is really quick. So it's up to you now how many of these pages you want to do. And that's the nice thing about having a ring kind of binder, a ring binder album, because you can change the size of the rings accordingly. So if you do end up adding more to it, you can. So I've already gone ahead and got all of mine done and my front because I'm going to show you how to do the back and I've got these huge great big rings. So now we need to make our kind of holes to attach it. So I'm going to do that now. So actually what I'll do is leave that on there for now and we'll do the back cover because it's easier to decide where you want your holes to be with the back cover. So I'm going to leave all that to one side. You're going to want two pieces of chipboard or grey board. Mine is the three mil and I got it from every cross the pound. And you want two pieces, because one for the front, one for the back, um, that are six and three quarters by five and five eighths. So, and then you want a piece of pattern paper that's eight by eight. Okay, so I've gone for this nice color here. I might end up having this as my front. It depends with my decoration that I'm gonna do. Okay, so what you wanna do first of all is just cover your whole piece in double-sided tape. Everybody's got their own way of kind of doing their covers for I guess mini albums and I like to cover my whole area with double sided tape first. You can use double sided sheets if you've got them. Then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to add some liquid glue just over this as well. Like I said, just for good measure. And then you just want to sit it in the centre of your paper there, just roughly. Like so. And then I'm going to turn it over. And just make sure that's all nice and stuck and there's no air bubbles. Okay, and then if you just go around each side and just bend that pattern paper around. Okay, then I'm going to go and add another strip of double sided tape along all four sides. If you don't want to add it on the sides, you can add it on all four sides of the actual chipboard, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then you just want to cut off each corner, but you just want to leave about a quarter of an inch there from the corner just so that you um, get a nice corner. But I'm gonna be covering mine with those metal corner protectors, so I'd never worry too much about what my corners look like because I always, I don't think I've ever done an album without putting those corners on because it just helps it last much, much longer and keep it all protected. So I'm gonna take the backing off of two opposite sides first. Okay. I'm just going to run a bead of glue right in the side there because this is three mil there's quite a nice thick side to this chipboard so it will take to the glue then I'm just going to bring up the side with my bone folder so it should start to stick and the glue should ooze out the top so once you then start to wrap this all the way around that glue will just spread over more so once it's kind of stuck in place, start to bring it over. Glue kind of coming out the sides there. Okay, so that's that one. And then do the same with the other side. Okay, so you've folded them over. And then you'll see where you folded it over, this is overhanging. You can push that with your nail, like so. So I've pushed it in to the side there so that when you fold that around you get a nice finish okay so you can also use your bone folder just to push down against it to so do that on the others and then again I'm just going to run some glue and then just bring that up and stick them down exactly the same way that you did the others Okay, so there is our front or back. You'll have two of these, okay? So, like I said, I'd already gone and done one. Then we want, again, you'll need two pieces of just plain paper. You may want patterned, again, it's all up to you, but this is six and a half by six and five eighths. 
and this is going to stick over this one here, just leaving a very, very small frame. Okay, you can see there, so I'm just going to stick that one down. Okay, so now I've just got this ready. Next, I'm going to add my decorative corners. So I will link these ones if I can find these exact ones because they do change a lot. And I know some of the links I've shared before, I've checked them and then they've, they're, they're either not in use anymore or they've changed the style. So, but I should be able to find these ones. But basically, they go on each corner like so. So you've got your decorative piece at the front and then you've just got that simple part at the back. So I'll do one at a time. I will silence the uh, video when I start hammering. You can add some tissue over the top if you want, but what I like to do is just hammer the corner first and then work your way around each side, okay? So there's that one done. Every time you hammer, always hammer into this because you want to be pushing it into this part. Okay, so I'm just going to finish all of those corners. So I've done it so that you should line this up with, well in my case it's with that white paper. Okay, and then the bottom along with the white paper as well. And then this should come in just in line with that white paper there and then this should overhang the top. Okay, so that's where you want to keep it all kind of in place. Now because I've already done these ones here on these, I came in at one and three quarters. Yeah, so I'm just going to use this one that I've already done and sit it over the top here. So it's up to you where you do them, to be honest, where you punch the holes. It really will not make any difference as long as they're equal from you know each side. So I'm just going to grab my pencil and then I've got my cropper dial. A cropper dial is handy for this because you're obviously cutting through a lot of layers, but um, there are you know, plenty of other hole punches that will punch through as well, so you might have to just be a bit more forceful. So now I've just done them. And then these rings here are huge. They're the biggest ones that I've purchased, and these are three inches in diameter, okay? And then with this one now, all I can do is just line that all up so I'm happy that it's all where it needs to be. And then just use that one as a little guide. Put that one on there. And then with this one, again, I can just use my hole punch. And just line that up. And then pop that through, seal this all up. Okay, and there you have it. It's huge. This is a whopper, and I absolutely love it. And it fits perfectly with these three inch rings. So now it's the fun bit of decorating. So I have got here some pieces of ribbon. Some of them are from when I've been traveling. I've got this little charm here, which I picked up somewhere in Malaysia. And then I have these here, which I've already gone and fussy cut from the paper pack. And these here I've die cut from that beautiful Bright Rosa Fern Border die set. So you'll see here, I have showed this before. You get these massive, beautiful um, fern dies. So you can see how big they are there. Then I've also gone and prepared a doily here, I've just covered it in some brown just because I wanted something to just kind of back it and then I can start layering on top of that. And then I have all these flowers, I have little sprigs, I have more leaves, bits and pieces here and I also need to get my title which is just going to be Malaysia and um, yeah start building this all up. So I'm going to pop it on high speed and then I'll talk you through what I've done at the end.
so there is my front cover all finished. So my camera stopped recording as always when I'm doing these kind of things because this obviously took a bit longer and I did stop and have a drink. But I stamped Malaysia and then I just kind of distressed the paper because it was too white and used my distress tool around the edges. And I've got these little flag stamps. So it's always nice to pop a little flag next to where, you know, the country is that I've been to. And also I may have a specific year for these photos. So or I might combine, so I will also add a year there as well. So it's a little bit like a scrapbook layout on the cover. And then I've got here that little dangle and then just cut bits of, you know, these ribbons and stuff there because yeah, they're just bits that I've kind of picked up. I think, yeah, that might've come from a temple or something. It's just stuff, just yeah, little reminders there, which I think tie it all together really nicely. So this is a bumper piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to fill it and I will do a flip through. I am going to do like a mini album flip through video. So I will kind of show you all of my mini albums and then, you know, you can refer to the video and choose which one you want to make if you want to. So yeah, that is the tutorial. So it should be nice and quick. I wanted to keep it as short as possible because then you can go away and decide on, you know, how many pages it is that you want to do. I'm also going to probably pop something on the back there and any kind of tickets and things that I might have. So it's a little bit like a traveler's journal as well, in a sense, because I can add them onto the front and onto the back. But I'm really pleased with how this turned out. It stands up as well so I can keep it displayed on my shelf and um, yeah, and look at it when I want to. So I hope you've enjoyed this mini album tutorial today. Um, if you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.